Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi oh Budgets, where I talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. On my channel, you will see things like budget with me, share my real numbers, I do cash envelope stuffings, savings challenges, and I also give you guys a debt and savings update on my own personal financial journey. So if any of that is content that you're into, do me a favor and give today's video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget your notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. Now by the title of today's video, you can see I am doing a $453 low income cash envelope stuffing for my low income budget savings challenges. So today's cash stuffing is going to be my last March 2023 cash stuffing of my savings challenges. So if you want to see how I am using the cash envelope method or the cash envelope system, along with my low income budget savings challenges to reach my goal to save $10,000 this year in 2023, then just keep watching today's video. Now, as I mentioned, today's cash envelope stuffing is going to be in the amount of $453. So let's go ahead and get straight into today's cash count and then we can start cash stuffing for my savings challenges. So again, today we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 445, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So $453 that we are cash stuffing um, into my low income cash envelope stuffing. So today I believe we're gonna be cash stuffing a total of, I wanna say three, maybe four savings challenges <clears throat> um, in my low income savings challenge book. So if you're new to my channel, I did create this book um, for low, this savings challenge book for low income budgets. It is available for purchase on amazon.com and it's always linked in my description box below. So um, if you've never seen the flip through of my book, then I do have a video on that as well. So if you want to see you know, what the inside of my savings challenge book looks like before you purchase it, then I'll go ahead and link that video for you guys as well. Ooh. <laughs> I'm very short winded this morning. Uh, but like I said, today we are going to be cashed up in some of my low income savings challenges. So let me go ahead and move this out the way and then we can get um, my savings challenge book opened. Alrighty, so this book does take up quite a bit of my frame. So I'm gonna do a little adjust in here. Alrighty, so the first savings challenge that I'm going to be cashed up in for is my self-care is not selfish now this is going to be a new savings challenge that i am starting and a lot of the funds that you're seeing me cash stuff um in my savings challenges is from things like working overtime my regular nine to five paycheck and then also side hustle income as well so i try to do these at least twice a month um that way i can just give you guys monthly updates on my savings challenges um as well so for self-care is not selfish, like I said, this is a savings challenge created for people that are like myself that really has hard, a hard time putting money aside for yourself and just treating yourself. So I created this very simple um, savings challenges and then the end, once you complete this challenge, you will have $200 saved, which is more than enough for you to be able to treat yourself to something that you like, something that you love, and just not feel selfish about treating yourself from you know, once in a while. So today I'm going to go ahead and cash stuff a total of $25 that I'm going to be putting um, into this savings challenge. And this is going to, again, be the start of me um, starting this savings challenge. So let me just go ahead and color in this top lip here. And that's going to be $25. And since this is the last cash stuffing, um, cash envelope stuffing for my savings challenges for March, then I can go ahead and update my monthly progress tracker. Um, I am starting this one in March. So my total savings for the month of March, and let me see if I can write this without it going crazy. That works. Okay. So $25 is going to be the monthly savings amount for this actual 
um, self-care challenge. But like I said, it is one of the challenges that I wanted to go ahead and start since I've been completing some of my savings challenges. And it's just a reminder to myself why I'm on this journey, why I do the things that I do, make the sacrifices that I make, and then to be able to treat myself um, in the end. So that's my self-care is not selfish savings challenge. <clears throat> now the next savings challenge that I'm actually going to be starting, and I'm gonna come back to that one actually. Um, it's my financial freedom one, if I can find it. Where is it at? Okay, there we are. Um, so this one is becoming financial financially free. So this challenge has a total savings goal of $100. And so I really, really love this challenge because again, it is just a symbolism of letting you know, like eventually you will be financially free. And so that's why I um, incorporated those butterflies on there, just to kind of remind myself to like free yourself of debt, free yourself of worry when it comes to your finances. And it's a challenge that I'm really looking forward to completing because even though it's just a $100 savings goal, that $100 can really stretch for some people, especially those that are on a low income budget. You just never know what you could use that $100 for. It could be your groceries for the week. It could, you know, be the matter of paying a past due bill or being able to keep your lights on. Um, so don't look at it as, oh, that's too small of a goal because some people have, a, you know, trouble saving at all. And so this savings challenge book is actually perfect for those people that, you know, don't know how to save or just really feel overwhelmed with savings. You can go one challenge at a time. I personally am doing like multiple challenges, saving challenges at a time because I am bringing in that extra income because I do have such a large goal this year, which is to save $10,000. And on a low income budget, that is a very much stretch goal. But I've learned that generating more income and bringing in additional income is really going to be the way that I reach that goal. So let's go ahead. Um, so for this saving challenge, I'm going to go ahead and put away um, $20 is kind of what I envision for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and color in about three of these butterflies here. So I see this one is worth $10. So let me go ahead and then I'll need to go back and cash stuff for my, um, my first savings challenge and this savings challenge as well. Cause I just realized that I did not um, put that money into my cash envelope binder. And so if you guys are new here, um, and you haven't seen my binder, then you'll be able to see my cash envelope binder for my savings challenges, which I absolutely love. I did get it from Amazon. Uh, I think last time I linked it in the description box, but I'll try to link it this time as well, just in case anyone is interested, but it did come from Amazon. And a lot of the items that you see me use are from Amazon, super, super affordable because your girl is on the budget <laughs> um and i like to you know purchase things that are affordable like i know some people like certain brands and that's completely fine but i'm a budget shopper and so i'm gonna you know if there's something that i can find on amazon that is 40 dollars cheaper than something else that someone else is selling i'm gonna go with the most cost efficient um item for me so this is my savings challenge binder i don't have um set like markers or indicators of what savings challenge is going to which i just been kind of keeping track of it um because these particular savings challenges like the denominations this is clearly my one dollar savings challenge and then i know this is my off the chart savings because um <clears throat> it's the only two challenges that i currently have not finished um so i am starting again those i'm starting three new challenges today actually um i just remember so let me go ahead and put the first $25 that I set aside for my self-care. And I'm gonna put this in its own separate envelope to get this savings challenge started. And then what I do with my savings challenges is once I complete my savings challenges, I do deposit that money into my high yield savings account. Um, and that just goes towards my goal to save $10,000 this year. Uh, if you guys have never seen any of those videos, I'll make sure to link those uh, in the description box below so you can kind of see what my game plan is. And if you're wanting to, you know, save some money this year on a low income budget, I kind of explain a way or a strategy to show you guys how it's all possible when you kind of just break it all down. 
Um, so these are the two savings challenges <clears throat> that I just cashed up for. So the $25 and then the $20 financially free. Now the next savings challenge um, that I'm gonna be cash envelope stuffing for today is a large one. It's actually the largest one in my savings challenge book. Now again, I am working overtime and bringing in additional income. So that is why I'm gonna go ahead and I've decided to start this savings challenge. This one is Secure the Bag um, Money Challenge. And as you can see, it has a very large savings goal of $3,500. Now, the way that I personally would break this down if you know I was not able to do the $100 at a time, and right now I am because again, I'm bringing in that extra savings, I'm bringing in that extra income. But if I wasn't, because the, each bag is worth $100, I would treat each individual bag as $50. So let's say you're able to save $50 at a time, or even if it's 25, you can literally cut the small bag in half and then just break it out into smaller goals, lower goals that will actually work for you to make it attainable for you. Like everybody finances is different. Like I said, I'm at this point um, and for today's March, cash envelope stuffing, I am able to go ahead and do the full two bags for the $100. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, color in four of these, which is gonna be $400 that I'm gonna be putting towards this savings challenge. Now this savings challenge is one that I feel like is probably gonna take a little while. Um, and so because I am also putting this money into my high yield savings account, I plan on doing a bill condensing and what that means is that I'll be swapping out the money that I actually have in my savings challenges so that I can um, go ahead and prematurely put them into my uh, high yield savings account even if I'm not completed with the, the challenge. So I'll just use prop money to replace it and then that way I'm not just holding on to all this cash in my savings challenge binder. I personally don't like that. Um, and it's just a personal choice. Uh, like I said, I'd rather just put it in my high yield savings account and let the money grow a little faster. Uh, so for the month of March, we are, we, well, we did save a total of $400 towards this secure the bag money challenge. And like I said, this savings challenge is probably one that is going to take me a bit. Um, but since it is $100 or $50 at a time, it is something that's gonna take a while um, and then it's gonna grow really quickly uh, or the amount is gonna get really high because it does have such a large savings goal and I don't want that money to just sit there. So that's my secure the bag savings challenge and I just realized too, I forgot to update the other ones that I started. So I'm just gonna put start March of 2023 because that's when I started this challenge and then the last savings challenge that I'm going to cash envelope stuff for today in my savings challenge binder um, is just going to be my off the charts one. Now, I started this one in the month of February, so last month. And so this one um, is a very simple savings challenge. It does have a savings goal of $200. And so the numbers in this little box or this chart actually comes out um either from one to 100 and so what i tried to do on the first couple cash envelope stuffings was just go with some of the higher numbers and i was just kind of playing with it a little bit because i feel like once i get the larger numbers out of the way then it's a little bit easier for me to you know save the smaller amount so if you are able to you know save the ten dollars opposed to the one dollars i would encourage you to save the largest amount first because your situation may change and you may only have one dollar to save um and so even a dollar can add up over time so for today's uh, off the chart savings challenge we have one two three four five six seven eight so eight dollars to put towards this savings challenge um let's see i'm gonna try to maximize the number of squares so that I can minimize the amount of squares that are left over. So let's go two, four, six. Okay, so I'm gonna do the the three twos, which is gonna be six, which then leaves me with two. And then I think I see some ones um, as well. So then that means that with $8, I'm gonna be able to color in a total of 
five squares, which does, um, you know, kind of fill this up of just a tad bit more. So maybe by the end of, what month are we in? We're in March. <laughs> um, maybe by the end of April, then I'll be able to complete this off the chart savings challenge and then reach that goal savings amount of that $200. So that is another one. And then this is, I'm just gonna make this one the last one. So I can't, oh my gosh, I didn't even keep up for March. Um, so I have to go back because I don't know how much I initially saved for March, but let me go ahead and get the off the charts cash envelope open and then I can see how much we have set aside for this challenge and then I'll go back and I can do the math then. Um, so for the off the charts, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So $130, which means we should have about $70 left to finish um, this savings challenge. And so what I'll do is probably within my next two um, savings challenge videos, then I'll just put $35 aside for each um, savings challenge. So if we have a total of 130, and we save 35 in February, then for March, how much did we save you guys? <laughs> um, let's see, 130 minus 30 is 195. Did I count that right? I think I did. Okay, so let's go 95. If not, let me know in the comments if I butchered that or not. But that's all that we have you guys today for our cash envelope stuffing of our low income budget savings challenges. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how your savings challenges are going this year. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. Thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.